to preface this video, I just want to say that I really wanted to like this game. I was very excited about the game when it was launched because it was an amalgamation of Warframe and Destiny 2. I had high, high expectations. Obviously, they were not met. I played the first Descendant for 25 hours this past week and I have good things and bad things to say about the game. Mostly, bad things. Let's start off with the good things. Since the systems are copied from Warframe and Destiny 2, it's already a tried and tested system. I like it. If you're a Warframe player, you would feel at home with the modding system, the three parts and one blueprint per descendant crafting similarities to Warframe, and even the weapons and overall progression of damage. There was just something about getting a weapon drop that's better than your overall weapon and then changing that, it makes the gunplay more fun because you're not just playing one gun for the entirety of their playthrough. Another thing I liked about it is the gigantic bosses. The gigantic bosses are unique and have different mechanics. They had different things you need to look out for, different things you need to find out about it. Also, they had different weak points that you need to focus on. I really wish the sandbox for the boss fights though were more creative and not just a digitized box of the same thing. Another aspect of the game that I really liked was the grind. The grind was very very fun. If you're a Warframe player or a Destiny player, you're gonna be at home with the grind. And what I mean about the grind is that the overall gameplay loop is very very fun. And mostly that's because of the gunplay. It's very crisp, very crunchy very impactful and doesn't get boring after 25 hours with so much guns you cycle through throughout your playthrough it really doesn't get old there's rifles machine guns pistols uh shotguns there's snipers and in those categories there's a lot of different things as well there's automatic snipers there's rapid fire shotguns there's a lot of things that i really liked about this game but unfortunately there's also a lot of bad things much more than the good things i like so let's start with that, okay? Here are the bad things that I didn't really like about the game. Number one is that the game is just Warframe. The monetization is just cranked up times 10. From the modding system, to the character crafting, to even the most minute details like Endo and Cooper basically being the same currency. And usually, that isn't a bad thing since Warframe is a fantastic game. But every time I boot the game up, there's a voice in my head that says, my time is better spent on Warframe since it's the same game, but just better. Keep in mind that I essentially 100%ed Warframe, every single Warframe, every single weapon, every single pet, everything. I've got it on that game. So for that voice to pop up in my head, even when I don't have anything else to grind for, in Warframe says a lot. I really wish the game didn't have such a bad story. It's one thing to have a bad story, but for you to make me skip it? Me? I read through the whole Wuthering Wave story for fuck's sake, and it's not even that I didn't try, I really did, but with how generic the storyline is, how super predictable the twists are, and how shit the overall script is, it's no wonder why 99% of the people streaming this game on Twitch just hold the escape key every time the pink main story comes up. And don't get me wrong, the voice actors definitely weren't slouching on their work here, but when you're given a shitty writing script, a good voice actor can't really make up for that. One other thing is that it has a very uncanny valley vibe. The game feels like it's just made off of Unreal Engine 5 assets and every time I see something, I feel like I've seen it before on other games with similar art styles. Knock on Genshin Impact and other Hoyoverse games all you want, but whenever I see a screenshot from that game, I instantly know where it is, where it's from, and where it is on the map. In this game, after playing for 25 hours, no place really stood out to me as unique in its own way. And it's not just on the environment, even the UI feels like something I've seen 50 times now. What I'm trying to say is, I really wish it had more identity. I'm sure you've heard about the monetization of this game. They're saying it's so bad that it's worse than whatever they've seen out of any looter shooter out there. But I'm also sure that for every comment of that, you've read that it has the same monetization technique as Warframe, same monetization structure, and that Warframe is as bad as this game in terms of pay to win. And out of all the things that they copied out of Warframe, 
I really wished trading was one of the things they drag and drop into their game folders. Don't get me wrong, I have no problems with the skins. I mean, I play League of Legends. Skins doesn't bother me one bit. You could spend all of your monthly savings for that for all I care. I grew up playing free to play games so I'm very used to this thing. And out of all the things on this list, this is the one I least care about. But I just had to put it here, okay? The prices are ridiculous. And I get it, it's a free to play game. It needs to earn its money somehow. But $25 for an energy activator? That's equivalent to Orokin Catalyst or Orokin Reactors in Warframe, which at most costs a dollar fifty. You could even farm the premium currency in Warframe for that in less than 30 minutes. It's crazy. Overall, I had high high hopes for this game and it really didn't hit the mark, it didn't get to my expectations. But I see a lot of potential for it in the future. Hopefully we got more updates for that, more optimizations. And I will be continuing to play the game on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Sidruf. I'm gonna give it a few more hours with Warframe being on its lull period and most of my gacha games being on its chill period. I'm gonna give this game a go, farm for the other descendants, see what I like, see what weapons they have in store for me. But other than that, I really hope that they fix the issues that I put in this video and just overall make the game a better experience for players we really need more quality free-to-play games in the market but yeah that's gonna be it for the video hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace out